Welcome back everyone, Questine here with more Age of Empires 4, 1429, the Siege of Orléans. The fate of a nation and the rise of a king rested on the shoulders of one fearless young woman, Jeanne d'Arc. The French won an overwhelming victory at the Battle of pont -Valin. It was the first time the English had been utterly defeated during the war. But the triumph was short-lived. As England spent the next 60 years amassing French territory through alliances and victories at great battles such as Agincourt. It seemed that nothing could stop England. Who then could have foreseen that a teenaged girl was about to change the course of history. In 1429, France was in dire straits. Nowhere was it more evident than the besieged city of Orléans. The city was completely surrounded by English-held forts. But just a few days' ride away, here in Chinon, there was potential help. The French royal prince, the Dauphin Charles, was holed up in his fortress and under pressure to ride out to save Orléans. As Charles hesitated, a young peasant girl arrived at his court. Her name was Jeanne d'Arc. She claimed to have received saintly visions, giving her a divine task to help Charles become king and drive the English out of France forever. Charles was skeptical, but was soon convinced of her divinity. And he charged the 17-year-old with the near impossible mission to liberate Orléans. To Jeanne, this was the first step in realizing her God-given destiny. In April 1429, she rode out from Chinon at the head of her army to confront the hated enemy of France. All right, the Siege of Orléans. Let's begin. Jeanne of Arc led the French army to the besieged city of Orléans. She found the wall surrounded and the people desperate. Firm in her faith, she would rally the French to fight back and put her claim to divine calling beyond doubt. Okay, so we have a real battle ahead of us. Surrounded by English strongholds and with its last line of defense under attack, the city of Orléans grew ever more desperate. In France's darkest hour, 17-year-old Jeanne d'Arc arrived with the king's army to liberate a city and prevent the fall of a nation. Okay. We're gonna get workers. Now let's uh, go with the all of that. Send a couple knights on that side. Send her with, more, with some other knights over on that side. Alright, then we've beaten back the first assault. Oh, 
We're gonna need to clear the road there. The English had captured the vital fortification known as Les Tourelles on the south bank of the Loire. Orléans would live or die on its access to supplies. Recapturing Les Tourelles would be key to saving the city. All right, so we lost some knights there against those crossbows, but we did clear. Uh, we didn't manage to clear the north road. We're gonna get supplies from there, which I need. inside the city. Alright, so they're gonna keep um, and they're gonna keep sending uh, Alright, we're gonna get crossbows Acid distillation Suffered under the English siege for months, Orléans had sent for crucial supplies, but English patrols threatened their arrival at the city. If Orléans All hoped right. to receive the supplies, the French would have to clear the road of English raiders. We're gonna need to clear the road using our knights. And I'm gonna get more. Do I have enough wood for a town center? Not really. Not yet. Go back. What is that knight doing? I just want to... I want her regeneration to be active first and foremost. And that's the reason I cleared that uh, northern entrance first, by the way. 
the French eliminated the English raiders, granting the supply convoy safe passage into the city. We're gonna Each need time supplies approached Orléans, English raiders would return to guard the road, hoping to plunder the French goods. Gonna send a couple of archers there. The supply convoy arrived in the city, providing the French army with much needed gold. Cantle of Or to lose John. All right, do we have a monastery? Okay, the siege continues. He told. Alright, where do we have a market? We're gonna get uh, a bunch of upgrades. In particular, the ability to destroy siege engines. Yep. All back. All right, another supply convoy is coming. Let me just save this. So we have English horsemen. Seeing another supply convoy approaching the city, English raiders took up position on the road. The French needed to eliminate the enemy detachment if they hoped to receive the supplies. Okay. Easy enough. Okay, what's going on? Long 
All right, we got. Oh. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. All right, let's uh, send these guys uh, over here. They're not attacking for whatever odd damn reason. Why are you? Why? Are you fucking kidding me? I lost so many units there just because they couldn't attack for whatever reason. It's fine, whatever else. What the world is going on? <laughs> the world happened there. I'm, I'm a bit baffled, really. All right, we're building impregnable defenses on multiple levels. Let's get food upgrades. We're gonna get a bunch of uh Can you snap up for it finish? I was warned that I was that I had gotten that upgrade to allow All right, how many supply convoys are we talking about here? We're gonna need to break out for the north, by the way. Uh, the reason is... Yeah, there's just some weird pathfinding going on here. It's all very bizarre, though, I admit. Okay. We're gonna get more knights. A lot of knights, they're still the best damn units. World is wrong with you guys. Upgrades that aren't going through. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. Just 
suis sans voix. Je vais reparier ce matin. Mais courez où Ça va pris Alright, roll back shot. I think they're actually doing the extra damage against Siege, but it's not showing for whatever reason. Anyway, John is marching out with a bunch of her... back another supply convoy maybe I should just get a bunch of spearmen really to guard the, that particular approach I don't know I think I will actually what are you guys doing don't suicide please Ah, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of spearmen on that side. Is there any gold? Uh, I see. Alright, we're gonna deal with that camp. All right, you are gonna, you guys are gonna stay there. Alright, so we've dealt with one of the English camps. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. The French army torched the eastern English fort, securing a crossing to the south bank of the Loire River. Oh, 
Okay. That's not good. That is not good at all, sir. Alright, that was long bowman on the bridge. Let's destroy that one. I'm rather hoping that that, that will be enough to deal with the, the horsemen. Ah, well, we'll lose the convoy. Now their role, their sole role, those guys is to Okay, nothing. Are they out of force? Oh, very well being. The last obstacle to Leiturel fell to ruin. All right, we're gonna bring more men on that side. I feel like another I was... trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. I don't feel like I have like a sufficient more than sufficient. What are you doing? Oh, 
Alright, we get more reinforcements incoming. Alright. Oh, I really hate this shit. Alright, another supply convoy of gold. Alright, we're gonna get the more knights. Alright, they held. Gonna get a couple of spearmen specifically there. Okay, we're gonna sell some of that wood. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. I'm gonna get some stone as well. He's gonna need more knights there. We're building those towers so I can deal with the situation. Well, aren't you boys lovely? Let's keep attacking. Alright, that's the keep that we need to destroy. Alright, 
Simmons. Hammond Cree. Voyez de bien, votre bénéfice. Hammond Cree, avant. Besoin de faire Ardu. Maillez moi besoin. Homme fa au trail. Si veille à au champ. Voyez tout le monde. Voyez les hommes. Que faut-il donc besoin Command demand, Oh, we have a wooden. Okay. Lancier. Lancier. Leitorel was the linchpin in the English siege of Orléans, blocking the main supply route to the city. If Jean d'Arc could capture it, Orléans would finally be liberated. <laughs> That's a suicidal plan, really. Alright, I'm just gonna wait. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. Smash down the walls, boys and girls. Smash down the walls. Back, boys. Wow, I swear this siege is. Like it has an end. Okay, let's sell some of that. Let's sell that gold. Lost a lot of men. Jamison, si Actandons laisse. Sur quoi de rien, yes, oui. On me laisse te parer. Mon arc est prêt. Prest pour faire. Je m'assiste. We just need to destroy the fortress there, though.
All right, we're gonna pull. Right, another supply convoy is coming. We got 30 knights over here, bunch of archers. Well, if this doesn't work... Did the job. Victory. The king's army drove the hated enemy of France from Les Tourelles. With the main road to the city back in French hands, the English abandoned their long siege of Orléans. Celebrating a momentous victory at the head of the French army, Jeanne d'Arc would forever be remembered as the Maid of Orléans. Having boats would have been nice, so we could have landed instead of having to go across the bridge, circuit, uh, having to build an army and all that. Had a lot of troops. Wasn't easy. Defiance. You may tear me limb from limb, you may separate my soul from my body, but I will tell you nothing more. Jeanne d'Arc spoke these words exactly two years after lifting the siege of Orléans. She had spent the last year in enemy custody and was reaching the end of her trial for heresy. A pro-English bishop had interrogated her for weeks. She had answered his questions, told him of the saints who visited her and the mission they had given her. She had denied his accusations of witchcraft and idolatry. Now he had called her back to the trial chamber, where he had derailed implements of torture. Nineteen years old, worn down by battle, imprisonment, interrogation, John stared down the tortures of the Inquisition. The tools went unused and the bishop seethed in embarrassment. Despite her defiance, Jean would be dead within a month. Well, such is it, as it is. A medieval army on the march was a city on the move. No expense was spared to keep knights and nobles in the lap of luxury. Knights lived in luxurious tents called pavilions, which they had all of their furnishings. Proper chairs and tables and tableware, real beds with fine linens, even wall hangings. All this furniture had to be transported, and that's on top of what was needed for combat. Weapons and armor needed an army of artisans to maintain them. The armorer's job on campaign was one of maintenance, constantly repairing, knocking out dents, simply changing straps or replacing rivets that had broken. If you think of the knight as a race car driver, the armor is his chief mechanic. Without him, he would not be able to function. Also following an army was a band of opportunistic civilians, the camp followers, all vying to sell their services and goods to the soldiers. When on the march, most of the thousands of soldiers were mounted. Each knight would have at least six horses, all needing grooms, farriers, and fodder. The royal household brought with them their clerks, their priests, essential for men who feared they might die in battle, and of course, their cooks. 
the common soldier subsisted mainly on bread and a thick soup called pottage. It was an altogether different story for the knights. A knight on campaign would expect the best food. So we have game, we have fine meats, we have fruit when it's in season, always cooked because food is tied in with health as well. That's very important. And I'm just finishing off a dish here of spiced meatballs with a red wine and pine nut sauce. French and English armies could be on campaign for months on end, manoeuvring and skirmishing until they took to the field for a decisive battle. Well, that was Orléans. It's significantly more difficult than the one in H2, I can tell you that much. But yeah. having to deal with, uh, with that. The Battle of Pate. Jeanne d'Arc. Jeanne of Arc's perseverance had paid off with the English in retreat. She could deliver the fatal blow. Well, stay tuned for more, everyone. Christine Sagnat. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, enable notifications.